All right, this is a review of the Blue Ridge Overland Gears map case. Uh, this ended up being one of my more favorite pieces of gear. Uh, something, favorite's the right word, but I definitely use this probably as much as I used anything on the, uh, the summer expedition because this is my, I got this to be my map case. Uh, so just kind of high level on the outside here and then I'll get into what it is, what it does, and what I used it for. So, um, in typical Blue Ridge Overland gear fashion, it is very well made. This thing got put to a lot of use over the last three months or so. And uh, it's a, more of a canvas denier type of material. On the back side here, you've got a more of a vinyl waterproof type coating. Um, so it's, you know, I wouldn't worry about carrying this out in the rain um, and keeping gear. You've got Velcro across the, uh, the front so you can put your, uh, your big sexy beast patches on there. Um, you've got um, uh, a nice carry strap here with a little leather pad. One uh, piece of feedback I would give Blue Ridge Overland Gears, I found myself wanting to have a little handle right here to pick it up and carry it out of the truck uh, to wherever I was going to use it. Um, down the sides you've got kind of molly style uh, loops and webbing so you could put stuff, clip carabiners on the side, a flashlight, whatever you wanted to do there. Uh, and the way the closure works is it's almost a paracord style around this little uh, uh, lug. And so these guys pull down and then these come off and then it's just one pocket, big open flap. Uh, so really inside, no frills. You can see that waterproof backing there. Uh, but what this thing is fantastic at is carrying your maps. So I uh, keep these Gazetteer Topo maps um, or Topo style, is that tier style maps uh, for all the areas that I go to and this thing is made around this dimension which is really hard to find surprisingly you would think you could find a lot of bags and options that would fit that but uh, there aren't that many um, and it holds a ton so let me just kind of give you an idea so we got Colorado we've got Idaho we got Wyoming we got Montana. We've got the Rand McNally 2020 large scale road atlas with the spiral binding in there. We have a couple magazines, Runner and Backpacker 2020 gear guide. But wait, there's more. We have the Wyoming Backroads uh, four wheel drive guidebook in there. We have the Northern Colorado Backroads four-wheel drive guidebook with the spiral binding in there. We have the Mammoth Hot Springs, this thing's like a bottomless pit, uh, topo map, section of Yellowstone. We have the uh, Yellowstone National Park, National Geographic topo map. We have the Canyon Tower section of Yellowstone, National Geographic topo map. We have the Aberoski Beartooth Wilderness East Cook City to Red Lodge National Geographic topo map. We have the Aberoski Beartooth Wilderness Montana Wyoming Outdoor Rec uh, Recreation map in there. We have one, two Fields Notes journals, an extra 64 gigabyte memory card. And just for kicks, the National Geographic Tellure, Telluride Silverton Ure Alpine Loop topo map. And a whole bunch of Scout's dog hair uh, from the trip. So this thing, like, again, it's surprisingly small, but surprisingly holds a massive amount of stuff. And again, with that waterproof backing. I don't really worry about my stuff getting wet um, when it's raining like it is today. Um, I know that my maps are going to be okay. And uh, uh, this thing, um, it's a little cleaner right now than it was. This thing was just brownish red with Wyoming dirt. Um, and every day at camp in the mornings, drag this thing out of the truck, go have coffee, pull out a map, Kind of figure out what the plan was for the day, um, 
throw it back in the truck. And so it saw some use. Oh, and the straps um, kind of uh, have these nice quick release buckles. They go into the Molly uh, webbing loops on one side. So that's nice. You could kind of, I guess, sling, sling it uh, pretty quickly if you wanted to use it that way. Uh, but this thing's durable and uh, I have a feeling that uh, one of the boys 20, 25 years from now is going to be inheriting this uh, this piece of gear um, as they're getting set up on uh, on their adventures um, because this thing uh, I think is going to last a really long time. Uh, nothing but uh, but great things to say about the uh, Blue Ridge Overland gear uh, map bag um, except I wish it had a handle right here. That's the one thing I feel like it's missing. Everything else uh, is awesome though. I, I love this bag. So hope you enjoyed that uh, review. Check out Blue Ridge Overland Gear and specifically their map bag uh, made for gazetteers.